okay, well, we always want to know the next earnings is. We know what's out there and how and why, because they just announced. That's what gapped it up. That's what did the surprise factor. Um, okay, so the next earnings late August on MRVL. So I want to build out, I want to make this our next money press. And I'm going to make sure, first of all, on whatever template or uh, trading platform that you have, they're all going to be similar, but of course they all look different. And you're probably used to yours right now, unless you're brand new to all this. But this is uh, called the Street Smart Central inside of a uh, Schwab here. And if I'm going to, so here, what I have now is I, I'm just going to click this again and say view chain. And this lights up the options that expire next Friday, um, eight days to expiration right here. So what I can do on this platform here is I, I, you, there's lots of ways to go in and and build the trade. And I think this is pretty common across the platforms. They call them a trade ticket. Okay, but an option of uh, money press is going to involve two option trades. All right. And so I can build it if I click this box right here. Once there's a B in there for buying. If I click it again, it'll be an S for sell. And I'm not saying I'm going to pick this for the protection, but if I do a B, I'm not, this isn't going to trade it yet, even though the button says trade, even though it says trade, it builds this thing all in one trade ticket. Okay, now I get to go in and, and do what, uh, do the trade that I want to do. So in this one, and I'm not saying I'm doing 10 contracts, okay, I don't just do it for easy math, okay. If you get a number of money presses going, you don't want to have them all 10 contract, 10 contract, 10 contract, 10 contract. Because the 10 con, why, and why is that? Who wants to add to that? Why don't we, why don't we split up our pie with uh, the number of contracts? Are you getting any uh, responses, Mike? Yeah, margins affected every time you put in. Uh, let, let me just ask. Let me Different ask. Rate. Oh, sorry, Different sorry. Go, go ahead. No so different risk and margin requirements. I mean, just dependent on the stock itself, really. <clears throat> right. Well, think about this. If you did a ten contract money press on Chipotle. Mexican Grill, that's sixteen hundred dollars a share. Now you could do a money press on that, but a ten contract money press on that versus Marvel, you've got way more money tied up with the Chipotle. Okay, that's not saying, hey, if that sets up and it does its thing, we the beauty of the money press is we can control sixteen hundred dollar stocks with a very small amount of money with the money press strategy. But it would more look like one contract of Chipotle, 10 over here on Marvel, you know, five on a Domino's pizza, okay? And you're just gonna judge what your risk is compared to um, obviously what the put options are gonna cost and then the difference between the strike prices. So you're gonna be getting, this will become more intuitive as you get uh, more experience. So uh, I, no, I'm not ready to, to trade this one yet because we have to look at both lines. You'll notice that the same amount of contracts that we're gonna sell to open and buy to open. So the main things is they're both gonna be puts. They're both gonna have the same quantity and they're both gonna be something to open. We're gonna sell to open the weekly how do you know that's the weekly? Because that's the expiration right here. And we're going to buy to open, and we're going to put our 
protection out. When when did we see earnings were for MRVO? Late August. So look at the uh, expiration months. Okay, we go out here, we have August, but look at that. That's August 18th. That would be before the next earnings announcement. Okay, so I like to go uh, at least past the next earnings announcement. And that would give us um, September. So I'm going to click September. And sometimes this one clicks to September. I'm going to put this back to the weekly. Okay. Okay. The stock. So guess what? While we've been chatting, guess what stocks do? Especially ones that are freaking interesting like marble guess what they move up and down and when we first started talking it had backed off at 59 like 40 and our weekly was about a dollar 90 and while i was yapping and i'm glad we need to yap this thing's covered now it's 60. now it's 60. let's refresh this Okay, now that's just how it goes. So I just might, now one thing that I like to do, I'm gonna just move this off the screen. Okay, we're, we're, we're teeing up the football here, okay? Let's look at MRVL. And when we started, by the way, the Dow was up 430, the NASDAQ was kind of taking a break. The NASDAQ's really, had a buying program kick in. Look at the NASDAQ, by the way, just this past week. Okay, here's the NASDAQ in the last six months. By the way, are we are we probably around the corner from some profit taking from all this, from this week right here? And here's the month. Yeah, okay, we're in a market, the, the bear market lows are in, okay? And healthy markets, we go higher highs and higher lows. But we don't go like that the whole time. Okay, we're gonna pull back, and those are healthy. Hell, sometimes we just crave them, you know. Go, market come back. Well, you're, you're gonna get it. But if you're too plugged in and oh my gosh, the market's going down. I knew it, I knew it. This is the big one, it's the big one. You have to just take a freaking chill pill. And just relax, like I should too. Freaking relax. Oh my gosh. I've learned my lesson. Too many of you doctors have pointed me the way. And it's apple cider vinegar, a capful in water. That's the secret. Okay. Oh, let's go back to uh, Marvel. And let's just look at the range today. Okay, check this out. And let's go, let's look at today's action. Oh, look at that. Well, for five days. So it, it fell at the open. But look at this range. It started the day. It opened at 62. And it's had a low of 59.13. So it's had a $3 range today. But it's already hit actually 62 and a half. 62 and a half. So it's pulled back to 60. And I'm just framing that because with this recent setup, how it is, and look how spoiled we are. Not only do we have dollar increments, but they have 50 cent increments. You know, the world's just out there handing convenience, no commitment. What have we done to deserve this? They're handing us choice, commission free. It, it's a lot to take in. I mean, if you came in here and sat down with me and Mike, over at Close Garcia. It's called Los Garcia, but it's close by, so we call it Close. If you sat down with us at Close, we'd tell you some stories 
from 20, 25 years ago, option trading, that would probably scare you, you know what. All right. So the question could be, and by the way, when we got to September, we don't have the dollar increments in the strike prices anymore. And why is that? Because there's less trading going on when you're out there in time. Guess where all the action is? All the action is in the closest expiring options. Always, always, always. There can be very few exceptions. You know, Bill Gates went and bought just a billion dollars worth of options six months out. Okay, on that day, that would win. But all the trading coming together. The actions in the weeklies. Hence, why the price of the weeklies is um, actually very irrational and exuberant. And the money press genius is we get to sell that cream, sell the fluff, and put it in our pockets. So, and just, just to a note, so so we started with the 60 put, the stock went up. Hey, hey so, hang on just one sec. Hey, yep. Ken, oh, I just need some water. If Larry or anyone listening wouldn't mind bringing me some. There you go. I don't have to worry about the apple cider vinegar, though. <laughs> Get that after. So so when we did this, we, we looked at the 60 puts, stock went up, and then you looked at the 61 put. I mean, the adjustment or, or what you look at really doesn't matter at the money or just in the money when you're starting the money press. Right. It's really a personal choice, but either one's a good fit for this money press to start. Oh, oh gosh. I had like started it with like that. So it just meant, thank you. No, it's very, that's very important. Can you just uh, repeat the last little bit there? No, I, I, it's a personal choice. Either one right. works, would work for me anyway. I mean, well, uh, yeah, and I'll just say this: that do we is look if we if we open the paper to a bunch of stocks, old fashioned uh, R.I.P. By the way, to uh, uh, Bill O'Neill, he passed away earlier this week. Did you hear that, Mike? Uh, yes, I think on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. My gosh, I've really been thinking about him a lot, man. Um, but if you threw a dart and someone came over and said, "You have to do a money press on that that stock with that dot or the, the 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 dart hit," I'd be like, "Oh my gosh, what? I mean, what what's the edge? No, no, do one. Well, I'd probably do it real conservative, not knowing one thing about what I'm doing." Okay, but that's why setup comes in and it's so freaking important. Setup answers the question, why this stock and why now? And both the setup and the strategy is designed to get you and your me effect checked and to solve those problems. By the way, the longer I've been talking, the higher our premium is here. So, okay. So I'm going to explain why the 55s in a sec. Let's just enter the order here. I have a fun little feature called the walk limit. And anytime you enter a money press, it's a debit. Anytime you enter a money press, it's a debit order. Why? Because we're buying our protection, the big drama, drama ice cream. We're buying our ice cream in bulk. Okay, the ice cream in bulk. Fuck, I didn't. Whoop. I'm, I'm going to just get this premium right now, and I'll explain it later. But I have a fun thing here where I just let it loose, and both of these things walk. They walk, and I get the best feel like uh, I just get the best feel. It's so fun. <laughs> 